We've gotten the latest news on Star Citizen as CIG releases the roadmap roundup for the dates of April 3rd, which is today. This time around under the release view, CIG has announced the very first two creatures being added to the 3.23 release. The very first one is a fauna, which is Copian. It says populate the precise universe with the Copian, an aggressive, agile animal that travels in pack. You'll find them in a variety of areas from grassy fields to lurking in the darkness of caves. So the very next one is the Mayrock, which is also a fauna. It says populate in the persistent universe with the Mayrock and a passive flying bird-like creature. Mayrocks live in flock and are often found near lush green environments. Along with this, they are also adding a new mission type, which is called Creature Hunting. It says new missions that require players to locate, kill, and retrieve valuable parts of creatures roaming the environment. So essentially with the addition of these two new creatures and this mission, there's going to be some new gameplay mechanics added into 3.23. It's always great to see new things that we can do to further experience the universe we see in Star Citizen. CIT has also gone ahead and surprisingly added vehicle modularity for 3.23x release. It says implementing the ability to swap modular sections of certain vehicles to change their function. The initial release contains the torpedo and cargo room modules for the Aegis Retaliator with additional modules and vehicles to be added in the future. This is super exciting. The Retaliator was released a very long time ago um and um it was one of the one of the most exciting ships when it was dropped but it's been it's very dated it's very old and um on on the on its concept cig did promise modularity for the vehicle so it's exciting to see that we're finally going to see um the ages with tally to finally getting modules the cargo modules. so it's going to be different to see a tally this time instead of having torpedoes but it's meant to have cargo and to actually do hauling with the retaliator that's going to be interesting i wonder how much cargo this thing can fully carry when it's fully um equipped to be only cargo rooms in its modular slots in addition they also added ages retaliator gold standard so which goes along with the modularity so the ages retaliator has been updated to its gold standard. It says updating the Aegis Retaliator to gold standard, including the introduction of the modular rooms, the torpedo and cargo rooms will be available in this initial release with more to come in the future, which is super exciting, super exciting. Um, 3.23X is also looking good in terms of these new additions. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to this calm link in the description just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you on the next video